Hey guys, uh, Ghost here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, glossy orb like this with the uh, glossy borders. So uh, first thing I'm going to do, go to new, or if you're going to make a background or something, you do it on the background, but I'm just going to use this as an example, 500 by 500 pixels. So um, first thing we're going to do is um, you're going to get to your shape tool for your circle, now uh, you're gonna want to make sure that this is on black or excuse me white. So then uh, when you give it the bevel and emboss, it's gonna be shiny. But first you're gonna hold shift so you can get a uh, perfect circle. Drag this down to about I don't know right here. That's a good size for me. Um, for some reason every time I open this it puts a bevel on it. I'm gonna clear that. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rasterize layer. Does that make this so that I can edit it? I'm going to hold Control, click on this. That's going to mark it, and then I'm going to go to Select, Modify, Contrast, and I'm going to make it about say 17 pixels. Let's try that. So that's a pretty good size. And then you're going to want the backspace button. That's going to delete it. And then, what you're going to do is unmark it, get the circle out again, make a new layer, drag a layer below the shape one, or these, the outer circle, hold shift, make another circle just so it can fit right inside. Clear, because um, my Photoshop's gay and likes to add a bevel to it every time I open a shape. But bring it down to center it. Alright, so first we're going to mess around with this. I'm going to go to blending options, bevel and emboss. We're going to make the depth 300% and then we're going to make the size maybe 10. Let's try 10. Yeah, that's a good size. And then you're going to go to gloss contour, this right here. Kind of looks like two hills. So it's going to give it that shiny effect. So we're going to press OK and then you're going to want to go to shape 2 blending options and then you're going to want to go to color overlay actually um, you pick your color to give it a shine I'll, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here I want to go to green um, make it a little darkened don't go all the way up you want to make it just a little darkened press OK go to inner glow normal and then we're going to give it a black inner glow bring the opacity up to 100 and bring the size to about maybe right there so it's going to give it that kind of orbish look round look so now when you want to put the the gloss on it or the lighting to make it look like there's a light you're going to want to click on this click in the very center of this so you can get the color take off the color overlay Go to your paint bucket tool. Oh, you gotta make sure it's rasterized. Go to this and click on that. So that when you create a clipping mask with the uh, lighting, it won't get put under the color overlay. So now we're gonna make a new layer. Now you're gonna get your brush tool out. Make sure you're on this brush, the fade. Not the full circle, just the fade. And then make your color white. And now, what you're gonna do, you can make, you know, you guys can choose your spots, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna slightly shade the spot right here and the spot right here. Now, next thing you're gonna want to do is go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. You can play around with this to whatever you like. Now, I like 29.8. That's good for me. Go to Create Clipping Mask, and now we're good. That is how you make a shiny orb-looking object like this with the nice shine. All right, this has been Ghost Designs, guys. Uh, maybe be sure to subscribe to my channel.